Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We will now talk about ecological succession. Ecological succession is an <clears throat> important characteristic feature of communities. Of any community, this succession is very important to understand. Now this ecological succession basically means there is a change in the composition and structure of that particular ecosystem. So there is a change in composition and structure of the ecosystem. And this change is because of the changes brought about by the organisms which live there due to the changes brought about by the organisms. Now when we talk about succession, succession means one thing replaced by the second, second replaced by the third. But this is going to start somewhere. So the species which starts the succession, species which starts this succession is known as pioneer species. Then the species which remains at the end of the succession which is uh, adapted in such a manner that it is not going to change because of the changes brought about by the organisms living there. So species that develops or appears at the end and remains is known as climax species or we call it climax community. Now there are going to be species which are going to be between these two. So between the first and the last there are so many species or communities which will be replaced. Those are known as serial communities. or we also call it seer. So the one which starts is the pioneer community, then there are serial communities and at the end the community which is going to stay there irrespective of the changes which are brought about by the serial communities will be termed as the climax community. Now the place where this succession starts. If Succession starts in an area where there was no life form, no organic matter, no soil. Then that is called primary succession. Primary succession is area where there is or was no life form organic matter and soil then that succession or in that place the succession is called primary succession and primary succession is going to take long time. If succession takes place in an area where there was life earlier because of some uh, natural calamities or human activities everything disappeared every life form uh, was lost and now if a succession starts there then we will call it secondary succession. So primary succession is going to take longer period of time Secondary succession because life existed in that area. 
succession is going to be in lesser uh, time period. So, it is going to take shorter time. Now, this long time and shorter time is also long. If we take an example, say if primary succession we are talking about to reach up to the climax community, it is going to take say 1000 to 2000 years. In case of secondary succession, it may take about like 200 to 300 years. So, it is not very short, but in respect to the primary succession, this is short. Let us take example of those places where if succession takes place, we say it is primary. Say there is a volcanic eruption and the lava cools. Now, when the lava cools, the surface gets hard and there was no life form because the temperature was very high. So, cooled lava, a rock, a newly formed land area, anything can be the place where if succession starts, we will call it primary. Secondary succession is going to be places like a forest which was destroyed due to fire. destroyed due to fire. So that means there were plants, there were animals, but because of this fire, all living organisms were destroyed, but life forms existed there. That means there would be some organic matter, there would be some soil, everything would be present. So such an area, if here the succession starts, then we will call it secondary succession. Now we know what exactly is going to happen in succession. But we need to understand what are these changes that we are talking about. Changes brought about by all these species or communities which are going to appear. Let us take an example and then we will write things down point by point. If we are talking about say primary succession, a volcanic eruption takes place, lava cools and now on that surface succession is going to start. On that cold lava, there is no organic matter, there is no soil and if there is no soil, there is no water holding capacity. Now, which organism can come and establish itself on that surface? Those are going to be some lichens. Lichens like crustose lichens, they do not require any kind of soil because they do not anchor to the soil. Secondly, they are capable of absorbing moisture from the atmosphere. So they don't need to absorb moisture from the soil. They are the only ones which can survive on such areas. They come and establish themselves there. Now these lichens, when they die, their dead bodies would result into organic matter. Secondly, their excretory material is acidic. This acid is going to corrode the surface of lava. So lava corrodes, organic matter gets added, little thin soil layer is formed. Lichens grow in an area when there is no soil. So now they have brought about changes which become unsuitable for themselves but more suitable for the next species. Little soil is a condition which bryophytes need. So lichens would be replaced by bryophytes. Now, when bryophytes grow, they need little soil. They can also absorb moisture from the atmosphere. When they die, more organic matter gets added. Their excretory material, their secretion will also corrode more and more rock. So, a little thicker layer of soil will be formed. This thicker layer, the conditions which are changed now are unsuitable to the bryophytes but more suitable to pteridophytes. This is going to continue till the climax community comes. Climax community, if there are changes brought about by this community, it is still able to sustain in those changes. And that is why we are calling it the climax community. That means this is the species, this is the community which is capable of surviving in the changes or change conditions brought about by the other species as well as by themselves. So this is how succession is going to take place. So one species brings about changes and these changes become unsuitable for themselves but more suitable for 
the other species and that is how they get replaced by the other ones. This is what is succession. One more important thing about succession is depending upon which area the succession takes place, it can be water. So if it is water where succession is going to start, then we call it hydrarch succession or it is also known as sorry, hydro sear. If it is a rock, then it is called zirarch or zero sear. And if it is just land, then it is known as litho sear. Now, when succession takes place in area where there is plenty of water or only water and in an area where there is dry soil or rock, in both the cases, succession will always progress towards mesic condition. That means if this is zeric condition, means absolutely no water or very, very less water. And this is hydric condition where there is only water. If succession takes place here, it will grow, it will progress towards mesic condition. Mesic condition is when there is moderate water. And zeric is negligible water. And hydric is plenty of water. And if it starts in hydric condition, then also it is going to progress towards mesic condition. So if succession starts on a rock or a dry area, it is going to progress towards a forest, which is a mesic condition. If it starts in a water body, then also it is going to progress towards a mesic condition. That means again a forest. So where we find a water body and if succession starts here, we will find a, a forest there. And right now where we find absolutely dry rocky area, there also we will find a forest. But if it is primary, it is going to take few thousand years. And if it is secondary, it is going to take few hundred years. So this is like just the basic information about the ecological succession. Now in the next part, we will take up the actual steps and which species are found in which particular community.